Amy was born in 1990. She grew up to be a beautiful young woman. She, she loved to read. You know, she was just a happy kid, like young, you know, just having fun. And one day she just had really high blood pressure and she went to the doctor. And, you know, once they, you know, ran some tests on her, they, you know, discovered that she did have kidney disease. It took a toll on her body. She got a heart attack and that's what, um, sent her to the hospital and, and I felt when she breathed her last breath and that's, I, I fell to my knees and scream out like why. At my high school reunion a few years ago one of my classmates came up to me and he said your kidneys you wish they knew what they were and what they did and then when they fail you know, you really regret it. Like every other challenge you're trying to solve, it's better to solve the problem before it starts. CKD Intercept is a five-year strategy, and so what we're working to do is change the relevance of CKD. The NCAF's mission around CKD and CKD Intercept is that we would like chronic kidney disease to have the same public awareness as many other chronic illnesses that are in this country. 73 million Americans are at risk for chronic kidney disease and cardiovascular risk is higher in kidney disease patients. It's also a cost burden to the American population. The costs of CKD are over $100 billion for the taxpayer. We have many opportunities to address this public health challenge. Chronic kidney disease exists already in people with other chronic diseases. Chronic kidney disease is a progressive disorder. Intervening as early as possible in the disease progression is the best antidote to the problems of CKD. What's exciting about the CKD Intercept is that we're beginning to address this. And an important aspect of early diagnosis is that it allows for not only medical treatment and lifestyle changes, but for education. Well, this program means a lot to me personally. It reflects a lot of my story. I found out I had kidney disease at 40, and I was able to do the things that my doctor asked me to do. I was able to change my diet, get my blood pressure under control, get my lifestyle under control. And what it allowed me to do was postpone the need for analysis. And now what we want to do is move upstream further into the healthcare system. And we want to change the culture of care for chronic kidney disease. By working with insurers, by working with health systems, we're developing methodologies by which those organizations can help clinicians improve their diagnosis and practice. CKD Intercept is the path forward. It's going to save the country and taxpayers a lot of money, and it's gonna save a lot of lives, and it's gonna ease a lot of heartache for a lot of people. We have a 65 year history of taking care of kidney patients. We're the ones to do this. This is our mission. My thing about Amy is that she did not um, let the sickness keep her down. Yeah, she light up any room she walked into with a smile. And she showed people how to live, how to love, and how to appreciate life.